Oh man. Uh, I just made a huge mistake at the 4-H auction. Uh, dang little kids. You look at them, you start crying, and uh, it's just so hard to say no. Hmm. Let's get to it. So I decided to go to the 4-H auction primarily because little Timmy, you know, him, he's our farmhand. Oh, oh, come on, come on. Uh oh, yeah. A little bit hard starting there. So little Timmy had a 4-H auction. He raised uh, cattle that he basically showed at the fair. He ended up getting fourth or fifth at the fair. Uh, wasn't the best but uh it's still you know it's still credible i mean that out of what 20 head of yearlings were showed at the fair so it's just kind of a thing 4-h does to help uh 4-h ffa they do to help the little kids get into agriculture uh and usually at these uh auctions big companies come in uh, to get their name out basically they buy these uh, head of cattle for high dollar because these cattle are fed with the best feed expensive economics really isn't taken into effect when you're raising these fattening these cattle up because obviously you want the best looking uh, cow so you can get the best grade and you can uh, score the best uh, during this auction, though, no one was bidding on Timmy's 4-H uh, calf. So, uh, he, I saw him over there. He started crying, so I started raising my hand, started bidding. Guess what? Now we got a ton of yearlings. One thing led to another. Uh, there was another 4-H, uh, little Johnny. He's in 4-H too, FFA. Uh, no one was bidding on his, and he's little Timmy's buddy. Yep. There goes my hand, raising up again, so... And then, uh, Farm Boy was showing a calf, too, and I ended up buying... I, I just bought way too much. I know. I drove my Corvette to the auction. I mean, why not? I own it. It's my dream car. I just wanted to drive it. I didn't think I was gonna bid on, uh, calves. So this is the plan. We have my other lots are still not ready. Anyways, they are getting ready. Wow. I'm going to have to polish my rims up again. Oh, this isn't dirty. A beautiful car. Got all dirty. Ugh. So this is the plan. Beans, my other cattle pins are not ready yet. Uh, I'm going to put cattle in here. Put some yearlings in here, fatten them up. Uh, I just don't want three head of cattle in here. That's it's not really time sensitive, and uh, I'm not going to make any money off of these 4-H calves because I paid way over market. Because uh, the little the little kids they deserve it. Kind of balance that out by purchasing even more head of cattle to try to drown out that over market purchase of them three head of cattle long story short we got yearlings to haul into our pens and now we made a mistake and all of a sudden now we have a whole bunch of head of cattle ah, i wasn't expecting that huh yeah that's what i thought now we gotta go get something to pull these uh gooseneck trailers so we can haul some cattle speaking uh, look at that that Oh, I was about ready to cuss right there, but that is, um, that's a lot of junk in the trunk. That's just wide, fat, horse. Uh oh. Start up. I guess this whole raising my hand, seeing Timmy cry in the corner, kind of messed up our plans, because if you know, 
we were trying to try to flip that little dairy. And now, that's a no-go. So, we're going to have to at least use it for a few months, fatten up these head of cattle. So, get them to uh, the slaughter barn, hopefully. And so, yeah. That's... Trust me, my banker is not going to be happy. Alright, now that I'm down here by my mailbox, I'll stop and see what we got down here. Oh, we got a letter from Grant, aka Squad. It says in bold letters, don't you dare eat my Wheaties. Oh. <gasps> he knows. Okay, note to self. Next time we show up at Grant's house, uh, make sure we give him at least a heads up. Yeah. Uh, don't worry, I didn't eat his Wheaties. I'm not a huge fan of Wheaties, so I was able to uh, withstand the temptation. But, hey, that guy, he's protected all of his Wheaties, so. Park this right in front of our uh, bow tie right there. Do two bow ties meeting. All right, so before we head off here, what? That's a good parking place for a three-wheeler. Leave me alone. Before we head off, wife cooked me a nice little uh, home made from scratch pizza. Eat that quickly. What? What the heck is a fork here for? I don't eat pizza with forks. Come on. Eat pizza by your hand. All right. Yep. Never put a full pizza in front of me because. There won't be no slices left. Oh, I forgot. I have not shown you this. So, uh, I picked this boy up the other day. Yep, I, I'm, I'm sure you're not impressed yet. So, it's basically just a little short flatbed truck. There we go. Five on the floor on this little baby. This thing is so short and stout, and beefy looking. I just love it. So the only thing bad about this truck, it's like maxes out at uh, 50 mile an hour. Listen to this girl scream at 50. I mean, when you hear that, when the neighbors hear that coming down the yard, ooh man, I guarantee they turn around and look. It's hard to hear something this screaming demon coming down and you don't freaking look behind you and like, what the heck is coming up? So if you look over there, our rye up there, it's starting to golden. Not ready just yet. It's still a little green. Uh, but to note, I've been, I have something in the works. Got something in the works. So we could possibly have something uh, a demo coming to the farm don't know for sure I don't want to spill the beans because it's not a hundred percent yet yeah that thing that old girl is still out in the increments so I, I need to figure out I need to at least bring it to the shed so I know you guys are like how is this a mistake that you bought all these yearlings so we weren't really planning on it I don't really have anything so I don't have hardly any feed. I don't have nothing for these cattle, so I'm gonna have to talk over this screaming demon because I'm not going gotta at least go 50 mile an hour down a country road, but we don't have no hay. I don't have no uh, silage. I don't have anything ready for these yearlings to fatten them up. All right, so they look like the cowboys over here. They are uh, waiting for them to basically load up. So they're looking for our uh, head here. So uh, I think I'm going to go over to the market here. I'm going to get some fresh apples, some pears. I'd love me some fresh pears. 
Oh man, they taste so good once I hit the lips. Alright, let's see where they are at. What the? Uh, I know it's been a while since I've uh, raised some uh, yearlings, but I don't think that's what they look like. These stupid cowboys. Ugh. I'm gonna get in here, chew some butt. Loaded the wrong head. I kind of like the brown trailer, because, uh, brown kind of hides all the, that was a nice way, cow poo. So, otherwise, you know, if you get a white trailer, all it is is smeared brown speckles with cow poo. And then you're going down, your neighbor's like, hey, uh, your horse trailer's uh, dirty. I'm like, yeah, I know. I use it to haul animals that poo all over themselves. But, long story short, just get a brown trailer and it hides all that stuff. Alright, I'm gonna make sure they load the right head into this trailer. Open this old trailer up before we back up. There we go. Alright, got some straw down there so they don't slip and fall and break a knee. Yo! Need my uh, cattle. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's move it. Make sure you don't give me a white head. All right, shut this up before they back up and kick me in the face. There you go. Lock it down. All right, now we gotta get all these uh, poo machines back to the farmyard. When I hear this thing scream, just load that load it down with a few yearlings, and she's really gonna scream down the highway. Yeah, I know. That's what she said. I was lost, I was lost without any direction. Had a line so many times, but I needed attention. No matter what I say, no matter my regrets, things still been said and done. Mm -hmm. There's not a part of me that wants to say no, mm -hmm. but I have realized I had to let go. Oh, oh. All right. So this is our last load of yearlings. If my count is correct. We should have 48, oh, 50, 50 head of cattle. Come on, girls, back up. Back up. Yeah, let me pull them by the tail. I think they like that. All these girls are meeting each other. Or I mean boys, boys, girls. They have others, they're girls. And game, they're boys, whatever. So uh, now we gotta get these other, uh, this other trailer unloaded. And then we gotta figure out what the heck are we gonna do for feed. All right, there we go. Why don't you just run out like normal cattle? Come on. All right, so uh, I think I'm gonna leave this parked over here. Just uh, park this to the side. Ooh, can we get around this? Uh oh, uh oh, this might have been a mistake. I thought I could park it. Oh man, now I gotta back up like the worst possible. Thought I could go around the side of that. Uh, I think they got some water. Got the pumps running over here. Uh, yeah, wasn't ready for you guys. You're gonna have to give me some time, I know. Alright, just getting back home here. Leave this right here. Yeah, my wife's calling me. Alright, so we just listened to the swap shop. Comes on right after the rest of the story. Just love them too. Just love the rest of the story with... Paul Harvey man good old radio station so the swap shop basically uh, people call into the radio station 
uh, things they want to sell. Most of the stuff is uh, small and not interesting, but we got some round bales. We called them up. They want to sell to us, so let's go get hooked up. Our little old bow tie. We'll go get our flat deck over here. Over here on the side of what I call our junkyard. Yeah, look at all that junk. Yeah, kind of just pile it up behind our uh, shop here. Probably should do something about that one day. They said we have to load it ourselves, so we have to take the old uh, 7140 out. I know I don't have ramps on this trailer, but I got a loader tractor. Don't need no ramps. We just lift up the front tires onto the trailer. So what you do, you get the front tires really close right there. Lift up. And uh, scooch. Scooch him uh, down like that. Oh, oh, oh. There we go. Got them front tires up. Back ones, they're so big that they don't need that. They don't need no ramp. Now we get to listen to this screaming demon. Here, let me put my earplugs in. This thing's really going to be screaming with this heavy old uh, case on there, Magnum. Alright, back this old girl right off. Yeah, there we go. Oh, probably let that motor down a little bit too close to the trailer there, but we didn't scratch anything up. Alright, pick up these two bales right here. It's like why I like a big frame tractor picking up bales. Oh, don't want to get that too tight. There we go. Carefully. I'm going to put these on the back of that old uh, truck here. That's why I, I love this little... Uh, Flatbed. It's probably the smallest flatbed you can get. The C70 size, at least. That halfway? So hard to see. Right? Well, we'll just use that gooseneck ball. There we go. like butter I know that they're, they're not even close to uniform but guys gotta give me some slack here I'm not the best at doing this bailing thing stacking got a few more bales to pick up here get on that trailer uh, I hope these uh, yearlings sure like that I, I know the 4h calves they're probably spoiled they probably had mostly a corn diet, and they're gonna go like, what is hay? But, uh, I don't think the other yearlings, they're probably gonna really enjoy it. But the spoiled, you know, the spoiled childs over there, they're gonna think that they get to eat the, the nice, expensive feed. Not so much. Alright, so that's the last of them bales got put on there. And of course, old Magnum doesn't fit on the trailer anymore. Put this down. Put them uh, mean looking graffles down so no kid, little kid gets hurt running around here. Alright, now, now it's our duty to feed some yearlings. Little truck screaming down the road again. Listen to this girl purr. Or scream however you want to call it we're getting this load of hay just about back here I can already hear them cattle bawling over the this loud screaming truck all right so I had to drive this old girl back here now we got to unload hopefully these cattle 
eat this hay because uh, we pay top dollar for it. Come on. We need to. I'm gonna drop these down into our little uh, feed trough here or bale trough. Out my way, heifer. That's funny. It makes it look like one giant bale in there. That's different. Okay, something's messed up there. Got a lot of bales to unload here. Man, I sure do love my new GMC. Well, that's not GMC. That's a, that's a bow tie dummy. But I sure do love it. I just love that big old radio antenna. Nothing says the 90s with a big old radio antenna riding around on your truck. But thank y'all for watching, and I will see you next time in the 90s. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share and subscribe. See you next time. I know. You guys probably already know this, but you guys want to see an easy way to unload a trailer? Just get your loader down like this, and just push him off. There we go. That's how you unload a trailer. Make sure you like the video.